So in this video, I want to make use of our um, Chronica Delta and uh, Levi uh, Savita Tensa um, to prove some uh, vector identities. Uh, these vector identities can be very useful when you're trying to manipulate vector equations. Um, sometimes you end up with something that can simplify uh, dramatically if you apply your, uh, one of these identities. Um, nobody memorizes these identities. They're usually found on the inside cover of a textbook. But um, I wanted to show you at least how they're proved using uh, the, uh, these new symbols that we learned in the last lecture. So the uh, first identity uh, is uh, each uh, term here is a, is a scalar because uh, the dot product is a scalar product, but it says that a dot b cross c is equal to b dot c cross a is equal to c dot a cross b. So you see that this uh, a dot b cross c is cyclical. You can pull the b out and then move the a in. You can pull the c out and then move the b in. Okay, That's an identity. The second identity is a vector identity in the sense that the left-hand side is a vector and the right-hand side is a vector. Uh, that one says A cross B cross C. Here you have to do B cross C first, and then you do A cross B cross C. This parentheses is important. Uh, vector multiplication is not associative. And that's one of, that was one of your um, homework problems. So here, A cross B cross C is A dot C times B, which is a vector, minus A dot B times C. OK. The third uh, identity is what do you get when you have two cross products, and then you take the dot product between them. So A cross B dotted into C cross D. So that's a scalar. And that can be written without any cross products as A dot C times B dot D. So this order first. And then minus A dot D times uh, B dot C. OK. Um, like I said, you don't memorize these, but um, they all have a very nice symmetry associated with them. So um, in my notes, I prove all of them. On the light board, it's a little bit too messy to do all of them. So let me just do the third one. An identity that you need to prove this is what happens when you contract, con uh, contract the um, Levi uh, Savita tensor. So epsilon ijk, epsilon imn. So here, the first index is summed over, right? Sum from i equals 1 to 3. And then you get delta jm, delta kn. So you see the symmetry here, jm, kn, minus delta jn, delta km, okay? the opposite uh, ordering. And that's an identity that also I ask you to prove in the uh, problems. OK, so let's work on this third one. So we have uh, A cross B dot C cross D. So how do we write that? Well, remember, we have the uh, formula for the cross product in terms of the levi Savita tensor. So this cross product, A cross B, the ith component of that cross product is epsilon i, j, k times a, j times b, k. Okay? So that's the ith component of a cross b. And then we're dotting it into c cross d. So we need also the ith component of c cross d. So the ith component of c cross d is epsilon i. I cannot reuse the JK index because I used it once already. So I need uh, two new indices. So IJK and then uh, 
L, M, N. So let's use M and N. So I have epsilon I, M, N, and then C, M, D, N. Okay? So this first three terms here is the ith component of A cross B. The last three terms here is the ith component of C cross D. And the I here is uh, contracted, so the I is summed over, and that gives us the dot product. That gives us the dot product. Okay, so now we have, we see we have an epsilon I, J, K, and we have an epsilon I, M, N, so we can make use of this identity. So the two epsilons become a delta J, M, uh, delta K, N, minus uh, delta J, N, delta K, M, okay, from our identity. And then we have uh, four terms, A, J, B, K, and C, M, D, N. Okay, so far so good. Um, now we have to contract the uh, Kronika deltas with the uh, vector components. So let me come here. How do we do that? So delta J M, so let's, let's uh, try to keep the indices um, in the uh, earlier in the alphabet. So let's contract delta JM with CM, right? So delta JM times CM means that the index M here is zero. We're, contract we're summing over M. It means that it's zero unless M is equal to J. So delta JM times CM becomes CJ, okay? So let's do delta JM times CM is CJ. And delta KN times DN is DK. And then what's left over is uh, AJBK. Okay, so I've done this first two Kronika deltas. Minus the... Uh, J, delta J N D N, when we sum over N, becomes D J. So this first delta becomes D J. And uh, delta K M times C M becomes C K. So we have a C K. And what's left over is A J B K. Okay, almost there, almost there. Um, we ought to group these things. So A, J, C, J, right? A, J, C, J, and we have a B, K, D, K. And then here we have an A, J, uh, D, J. And here we have a B, K, C, K. So remember, A, J, C, J, we're summing over J equals 1, 2, 3. So this is A1, C1, plus A2, C2, plus A3, C3. That's just A dot C, right? And that last one is B dot D. So this is A dot C. This one is B dot D minus this is A dot D, this one is B dot C. And that completes our uh, vector identity. A cross B dot C cross D is equal to A dot C times B dot D minus A dot D times B dot C. Okay, good. So let me just quickly go through the steps here again. We replace the cross product using the Levi-Civita uh, symbol, Levi-Civita symbol. 
Uh, we replace the one A cross B, we replace the one C cross D. It's a dot product, so the first index is repeated. You cannot use the same index twice, right, unless you're summing over it. So we cannot, we have to have a different index on this cross product. Then we can combine these two epsilons using our um, uh, identity here. And then we can contract the chronica deltas against the, uh, against the components and group them and see that we get the dot product. Okay. This uh, second identity has to be done a little bit more careful because it's a uh, vector on the left-hand side and a vector on the right-hand side. So to prove this identity, you need to prove that it's true for a general component. So typically, you prove this for the ith component. So we're just going to prove the second identity uh, by proving for the ith component. So that's another um, trick. The other trick that might come in is that these uh, levi Savita tensors or symbols are cyclical in the index. So you may have a repeated index where it doesn't match up with the first one. The way to fix that is just to make the indices uh, cyclical. So epsilon i m n is equal to epsilon m n i is equal to epsilon n i m. So you're allowed to change the order of the indices as long as you keep them in the same cyclical order. Okay, so that's a second trick that you might need to do. Okay, uh, look at the notes. You'll see a proof for the first two. And then I'll give you some uh, simpler uh, problems for you to try your skill at manipulating these um, vectors. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.